We've got over 16,000 followers now. 16,000 followers in over 20 weeks, which is pretty much unheard of. Stay off the cuff, that's OFF. Um, show them bars to the worldwide net. All the drinks may yet pass one to me. Blessed he, the old fashioned king, the old fashioned king. Virginia is for Grubbers. We are back again with another Old Fashioned Friday. And this week we're in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And today we're at Rebellion. We have a special guest today by the name of Ray. Ray is with We Are Fredericksburg. We Are Fredericksburg is a Facebook page Brian and I started about 20 weeks ago. And it's built up. We are promoting art, small business, those in our community. We want everybody to do better. And we're out here doing what we can to give people exposure and highlight some good things in town. How many followers do you guys have? We've got over 16,000 followers now. 16,000 followers in over 20 weeks, which is pretty much unheard of. I, I think it's a testament to the type of community here. It's okay. full of stories. Every building's got a story. All sure. the people have stories, business owners. That's what's so fantastic about this area. That's awesome. You know, we spotlight different restaurants throughout the entire state. So what better of an option than to link up with somebody that's literally dialed into a specific area like you guys that recommended not only Rebellion, but some other places as well, which we'll get into. If you just tuned into our channel we are virginia's for rubbers we do a series every single friday called old fashioned friday where we review old fashions off of four things it's zero to three on appearance for a sip overall taste and zero through one on overall ambiance of the establishment that we're at today we're at rebellion this place came highly recommended not only from we are fredericksburg but from some other folks as well we did some work at one family brewing i don't know if you're familiar with them it's a brewery up in lovettsville virginia they do a lot of work with like charities and stuff so i'm a big fan of rebellion just because of that let's jump into this appearance we we briefly talked Talk before we got on camera here and I told him kind of like the rundown of like how I rate these off of appearance I typically like a big glass I like a single rock preferably clarified ice and I have my own rating system based on that this doesn't have clarified ice which is fine but still nice giant rock nice glass what do you think about the appearance uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with this cube of ice yeah the design in the ice although it's not clarified the design sure. in the ice is unreal no it looks sexy looks pretty great um, color anything without clarified ice we typically do not go over two five that's my own personal personal rating. I told Ray he can rate it however he, he thinks it, it looks. And speaking of clarified ice, if you don't have clarified ice and you're looking for clarified ice, you can get the best clarified ice in the DMV right here, stillice.com. They will hand deliver it to your restaurant. So off of appearance, I mean, it's solid. I'm going to go two, three. What are you thinking, Ray? I'm not a professional like you, <laughs> but I'll go with the two, two okay. flat. Fair enough. We're going to jump into this first sip. This is a barrel aged old fashioned that they have right here in house at Rebellion. So cheers, brother. First cheers. Time. Wow, that's incredibly smooth. Extremely smooth. Yeah. That was the first thing I was thinking about. We shot five of these yesterday, which is not smart to do in a single day, by the way. Sure. So I was thinking that like it was gonna be rough drinking another one this morning. That went down very smooth. Very well balanced. Rebellion itself, it's a whiskey and bourbon bar. So I mean, obviously they're gonna be able to make a good selection of different bourbon and whiskey cocktails, you know? Little to no bite. I think the balance of the sweetness and the bite is, is right on point as far as the first sip is concerned. It's not overbearing at all no. very clean as I like to say first sip I'm gonna go high because that was very good I'm gonna go two nine off of first sip what are you thinking like I would put this at a three three boom we're gonna jump into this overall I have a lot of confidence the overall is gonna be good even though it's not clarified I still a massive piece of single cube here we'll talk about the ambiance of rebellion anything that you can tell me that you know about rebellion this location pretty old structure There's a lot of buildings here downtown that are 17 1800s you see all the distressed brick you can see modifications space Based on the different texture you see on top of the brick. This building has been used for different things over the years. Yeah. They try not to cover that up. You can see the old beams up here that were, uh, were cut. You can see the beams they left. But the structures are just incredible. A lot of this stuff is old fir wood. It's a unique experience to come in here and see this type of old architecture. Yeah, it's beautiful. Not to mention they have like six layers of different bourbon and whiskey selection. So much so that they have a ladder that they slide across the bar there. That's how much bourbon and whiskey options they have have here. So as far as overall ambiance is concerned, this is a dope place. And again, located right here in downtown Fredericksburg. I'm going to go full one. Absolutely. Full one. Let's jump into this overall. Cheers again, brother. Cheers. 
still very smooth and consistent. It, it's like the first sip, and, and not often is that the case. Very rarely, actually, <laughs> is that the case. But yeah. this is really consistent. Yeah, yeah. That's a good problem to have. If the second, third, and fourth sip taste like the first sip, you guys are doing something right. It's just really clean, man. Anything else you want to tell us about We Are Fredericksburg or where people can find you at? Well, Fredericksburg is a great place to visit. Normally, if people come into the greater area of Fredericksburg, whether it's Stafford County, Spotsylvania, even south towards Caroline, generally you bring your guests into downtown Fredericksburg, this area. There's a lot to see. There's a lot of businesses. There's a lot of arts down here. There's a lot of live music. So check out Fredericksburg. You want to see what's going on or what's happening. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. We are Fredericksburg. Check them out on both platforms. A lot of really cool drone photos, a lot of really cool business highlights, helping the community grow, as you were saying earlier. That's why the page has grown. The engagement is unbelievable. As far as overall, that max is three as well. What do you think? You know, it's smooth all the way throughout. I've got to rate this at the top. Three? Absolutely. All right. I almost never do this without clarified ice because usually the consistency drops. We don't have clarified ice and it dilutes the beverage. The overall, I usually decrease the score at least one or two points. But like you said, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth sip were all the exact same and consistent. So I'm going to stick to the same two. So two nine. There you have it. Rebellion, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Follow We Are Fredericksburg. 9.1 raised at a 9.0. Cheers.